Hi friends, today I'm on a mission. I have got to recreate this matching set from Spanx. It was one of Oprah's favorite things and it is this beautiful, soft matching set and it is $118 per piece. That means it's $236 for both the top and the bottom. Let's see if I can do my best to recreate this set using my fabric and my patterns. I know this is a question that we all think when we go into the store and we look at those clothes, can I just go ahead and make that myself? So let's see if I can. First, let's take a closer look at the outfit that I want to recreate. Um, it is a pullover with a half zip. It has a hem band. It looks like the sleeves are raglan and then there's some shaping seams in the back. Um, it does have thumb hole details, a little opening there for the thumb. And it looks like it has kind of a dropped arm side, um, kind of a larger lower opening for the arm side. I don't love that, so I bet you I can do something to make that exactly what I want. And looking at the pants, um, they look like kind of the same style details as the uh, pullover. We've got a little drawstring at the top. We These are a very wide leg. I'm not sure if wide leg looks great on me because I'm so short. Um, I love the curved yoke in the back, so I think that's going to be an uh, important thing to duplicate. Um, and I think this is totally doable. I think I can do this. So for the hoodie or pullover, I'm going to be using the Constellation hoodie from Love Notion. This pattern has lots of the same features that the um, Inspiration hoodie has. I'll use the collar version of this, so it won't be raglan, but I think it'll have a really cool collar detail. I'll also use the hem band option instead of the tail option. And I'm realizing now that the Inspiration version does not have pockets on the hoodie or the pullover. So I'm absolutely gonna use the included kangaroo pocket um, with this half zip. The Constellation pullover is just one of our collection of pullovers for the family. We have a men's version and a kid's version, and these are all on Feature Friday sale today only. So what pattern am I going to use to replicate the bottoms? I think I'm going to go with the Resolution Bottoms pattern, especially because of that yoke detail on the back. I'm going to be using the yoga pant from this collection. And the whole collection includes pockets, it includes a joggers version, a boot cut yoga version, straight leg yoga pants, um, leggings, and moto leggings. So it's got kind of everything that you would need in terms of um, knit bottoms. So these are the patterns and options that I'm going to be sewing up to replicate the Spanx set. What do you think? Can I make it? So before we dig in, we have to figure out the fabric situation. The thing that makes this uh, set so popular is the fabric composition that it comes with. It's called the Air Essentials Collection, and it's a spacer fabric that's lightweight, soft, and ultra drapey, and it feels silky against your skin. I kind of think this is like a techno scuba of some kind. Um, it's made of modal, polyester, and elastine, and I cannot find anything like this in any of my normal fabric shopping places. So um, after a little looking around, I found this fabric. It is a reversible double sweater knit. I ordered it in the navy, but it's currently sold out in that color right way right now, but it still has white and rust. It's from Stylemaker Fabrics. I spoke to Michelle about this, and I love that it's a double knit, so it's, you know, it's got you can use both sides of it. Um, it's ribbed, so I can use that for details. And then it also is a really soft drape fabric. So here's an up close version of my fabric. It's got the rib on one side. It's a very, very soft, very, very drapey. Um, it's almost like a sweater knit sort of feel. And then the inside is just like a flat jersey. Um, and in person, it is just so soft, so cozy. I cannot wait to curl up in this. It's time to cut out. I used 
less than four yards of fabric, but I had over four sent to me. So I'm just gonna cut everything out and get to sewing. Oh, except for, but first, Tammy just finished a uh, very early on sample of the new Coda coat that's coming out later. And so we had to, of course, stop and admire that for a second. And then I also had to finish up my um, top that I plan to wear for Christmas this year. It is a mashup of Arlington bodice and sleeves plus the salt whistle neckline. I have looked everywhere for a square neck top and finally I'm able to make one. So yet again, another instance where I'm able to make what I just can't get in stores. So let's get sewing. Of course, I'm going to change my serger thread color to match exactly to my make. It's those little details like that that make such a difference. All right, so now I'm about halfway through the project. I am midway through the hoodie and I am working on the collar. One of the things that I love about this pattern is the finishing on the collar. There's a bias binding that you're supposed to use. I decided to just use a scrap of jersey fabric, but I just love how the finishing of the inside of the collar is as nice as what's on the outside. At this point, I have finished my uh, bottoms, the yoga straight leg bottoms. I used the contour waistband, and just for an extra added little detail, I did put in two buttonholes while I was sewing up the um, contoured waistband. There is a yoga version of this, but I thought with this kind of heavier fabric that the yoga version wouldn't have enough recovery. So I use the contour, which has elastic embedded inside of it. And I'm just adding in a little ribbon just for a little extra detail. Another feature on side the constellation pullover is the thumb hole, uh, option. So it's got a little thumb hole in the cuff. So the original Inspiration Spank set, uh, the pullover has a little cutout piece for the thumb hole. I absolutely could have done that, but I just decided to use the directions that were inside of the Constellation pattern, and I'll be able to um, just have a thumb hole just as I would with the original set. Um, and it's really surprisingly easy. So I think I might go back and add in um, for, well, for future makes, I will probably add in thumb holes because I love having a thumb hole. Um, it's just a really, really easy way to add in a little extra utility in the pattern. All right, I have finished the hoodie. I have, um, now I'm just going through and snipping off all of the little threads. It's again, these little details that really make the garment feel polished and just like you had bought. Here's a better view of the inside of the collar. So it has that binding detail on the inside. Usually could use a woven for that, but like I said, I chose to use just a scrap of jersey knit. Um, I used just a regular zipper that I had laying around in our stash. And um, I think that this collar needs something else to really make it pop. And that is going to be something that you would find on any store-bought item and so of course we've got to put a tag on there. I'm using this handmade um, tag from Kylie and the Machine and then I'm using a, another little white tag that we had created um, custom that has the Love Notions logo. So I know that every time I reach for this it's going to feel professionally made. In order to get that tag on there, sometimes it can be a little tricky. So I like to use, um, especially if I'm putting both of those two little tags together, I like to use the sew line glue stick to keep it on there before I actually get the uh, stitches. I'm sure you could use a regular glue stick as well, but I like the narrower tip of this glue stick and I like that it doesn't dry out as quickly as a regular glue stick would. At this point I haven't tried anything on. I am just finishing up all of the little um, trimming that has to be done and then I'm going to try it on and see if I have created a duplicate of the matching set I am so in love with. Okay it's the moment of truth. Did I do it? 
Yeah, it is. Ah, I love it so much. It is so soft. It has those thumb hole details. The fabric is not exactly what the original set is made of, but it is very soft. It feels very luxurious. It's got kind of like a sheen to it. I am so happy with my finishing on the inside of the Constellation hoodie. You know, those little things really make it feel like it was purposefully made um, and almost store-bought. Um, I those little details like the ribbon on the contour waistband um, and these pants have great pockets I've got that yoke detail um, one thing is that these actually fit my height which I know if I had ordered the original set from Spanx they would have been way too long so I'm super happy that this actually fits me so can I make it I think the resounding answer to that question is absolutely. Yes, I can. It feels so great to be able to make my own clothes from the inspiration that I find online and in the mall. If you are as in love with the Spanx matching set as I am, make sure that you grab a copy of the Constellation hoodie and the Resolution bottoms and make your own. Happy sewing. Stay tuned for a quick PSA from Love Notions. Our new year pattern sale is starting on January 2nd of this coming year. Make sure that you get your wish list equipped with all your favorite patterns and take 30% off everything January 2nd through 